Hi, this is Harry Guinness for Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at Keyboard Maestro. In the previous four tutorials in this series, I've introduced Keyboard Maestro and looked at a lot of the powerful features that are available in the app. If you haven't checked those tutorials out already, the links are below this video, and I recommend you do that before continuing because I'm going to be assuming you're already quite familiar with Keyboard Maestro. In this tutorial, I'm going to look at another powerful feature of Keyboard Maestro, which is variables. So I'm going to create a new macro. I'm just going to call this variable example. And one of the best things about variables is that they allow Keyboard Maestro to store information that it gets from somewhere else. So I'm going to create a new action and I'm just going to grab an execute action and then I'm going to grab execute an Apple script. With this, Keyboard Maestro will run an Apple script and you can store the results as a variable. So I'm just going to paste in some text which is going to check if the application Spotify is playing and if it is, it will return a 1 and if it isn't, it will return a 0. So I'm going to change the ignore results to save results to variable. Then I'm going to call that variable playing. Next, I'm going to grab a quick notification. And just use that. Put that there. We'll call this playing. And then for the message, I'm going to use insert token variable. And then I'm just going to stick in playing. Now, if I click on both of these and push try, it's going to run the Apple script. So in the background, Keyboard Maestro has just checked if Spotify is playing. And then if I click on try here, we should see that it's not playing. You can't hear it in the background, so it's not playing. If I push play, you're not going to hear the music because I don't want to infringe on any copyrights. But Spotify, if I look over here, is playing Get Down On It by Cool and The Gang. Now when I hit try, it's going to check in the background if it's playing or not, and then push try again. And we can see that playing is now one. This is a really powerful way to use variables to expand what Keyboard Maestro can already do. It can't check Spotify directly, but it can check what the playing variable is doing. If I click into Tweet Spotify Songs, you'll see exactly what I mean. This is the macro that I'm building in the tutorial that you can check out below. You can see that if I type the string Tweet Spotify, What's going to happen is that an if all conditions are met, loop is going to execute. So if Spotify is running, it's going to execute a whole lot of actions. If it's not, it's going to tweet out, whoops, that music ain't coming from Spotify cabin. If uh, Spotify is running, the next thing it's going to do is it's going to run that playing test that we just made in variable example, save to the variable playing. Then it's going to execute another if loop. And if the variable playing is one it's going to execute a whole load of more actions and if not it's going to send out that same notification saying that the music isn't coming from spotify once the once spotify is playing it's going to execute some apple scripts that gets the track name from spotify it gets the artist name from spotify it gets the id from spotify and saves them to three different variables song artist and track id then what it does is it searches the track ID variable for the string Spotify track and then removes it because if there's a blank in the replace. This means you can manipulate variables once they're stored in Keyboard Maestro. With the track ID variable, we can create a link so that when I tweet out the Spotify song, a link is included so people can play it. Then there's another loop which is if TweetBot's running, it's going to go in and then it's going to create a new tweet and paste in. Right now, I'm listening to percentage variable percentage song by percentage variable percentage artist. Check it out. HTTP link track percentage variable percentage track ID hashtag now playing. The variable placeholders will be replaced with the information that Keyboard Maestro has stored. So let's check this out now. Going to make sure Spotify is playing in the background jump over to byword here and i'm just going to type in the string that triggers it 
and in the background there the tweet has been sent if i go over to my twitter account refresh that you can see seven seconds ago right now i'm listening to get down on it by cool and the gang check it out and then if i click on this link it's going to open up and we get the link to the track and the option to play it on spotify for more information on building this macro check out the written tutorial below this is obviously quite a niche macro but all the principles i used in building it are going to be really useful in creating your own macros this was the last tutorial in this current series on keyboard maestro but if you've got any features of the app you want me to revisit in future tutorials please let me know in the comments